YouTube what's happening, man. Hey, y'all see me? I'm making this shirt look real small. Y'all see it? I'm about to go on this weight loss challenge, though. I'm about to challenge the whole city. 90 days, 20 pounds. About to lose it, get that thing real nice and tight. Because uh, my, my clothes starting to fit, <laughs> fit a little too tight on me, man. I put my wallet in some of my jeans the other day, boy. I said, God. And you ain't feel right. I had to hold my wallet in my hand, but jeans were so tight. So, you know, hey, that ain't good at all right there, man. Eating too good out here on the road. That ain't good. But, uh, look, I want to talk to y'all about three things. The Centromatics, the Charge Box, the Jump Box, and uh, don't take your your CDLs lightly and your, your opportunity that you had lightly. You can change lives with your opportunity. So, remember that. But well, let's go, let's look at it. Y'all see the tread on these tires? Like no deep grooves or nothing. Y'all see I got the I got the Michelin X line energized. So I went through a whole bunch of different tires trying to get my stuff straight. And I'm gonna show you what, what happens on this side. Now on this side over here, same thing. No wearing. I don't know if y'all can see that. But I got one spot right here where I got a stress fracture and I got another spot right behind that. I know where that came from. That came from, I hit a, a pothole one day going about 70. And it, and, it, and it put a little crease in my tire and it's just been wearing and wearing because there's a crease right there. So that ain't, that's nothing to do with Centromatics. That's on the, me hitting that pothole. But, uh, what I will say is, it's not because of my alignment, because I had a screw to come out in, in the back and all my shit was rattling in the back. I had to get a uh, mechanic to uh, tighten it up for me. So I haven't, since that happened, I haven't went back to go get it aligned. So I was riding with that for like a month. And I, cause I kept hearing something rattling and I didn't know what it was. And I finally found that screw that was coming out. So I know my alignment is, is not perfect right now. The only thing that's changed is I got these Michelin tires and uh, the Centromatics. So if you're trying to save money, try it. And I, I'll try it with Michelin, but if you want to try it with some cheap tires, try it with some cheap tires to see if it works. If it does work, yeah, let me know on that. Because now I might better save money and buy some cheaper tires. But I, I kind of I think it's the Michelins and the Centromatics, both at the same time, is, is helping out. But uh, another thing I want to tell you all about. This jump box. The other day I was so tired, I, I drove the night shift. And when I found a, a spot to pull over, you know, it was one of them last second. I got nine minutes before my clock run out, so I'm just trying to find a place to park. And I found a little spot to park, and I forgot to turn my lights off. I was just so happy I, I got, I didn't get um, a violation with my e-log. So I was just happy, man, tired, laid down, left my lights on seven hours later i can't trick i can't crank my truck up so i was like damn so i get up and i walk to the store down the street and at the house i had to jump my truck off before because i knew my battery wasn't dead it was just i left the lights on so that's what drained my batteries so i know if i just got to jump i'll be good again so i went down there to the, down the street and i was looking for a big truck like a, a diesel truck like somebody with a regular pickup truck that has a diesel engine and um I had to jump my truck off like that at the house before. So I know I can, 10 minutes, I, I can crank it up. So I'm, I'm down there waiting. I see a guy pull up in a big truck. I'm like, okay, you know, he might be able to uh, help me out. Dude, he, he came, he brought me to the truck. He was like, yeah, I'll jump y'all. I tried to pay him, dude, wouldn't take my money, nothing. He pulled out a little jump box. He said he got it from Napa Auto Parts. Cousin just called me, he says $84 for this part. It's a small little box. I'm talking about a box so small, man, you can put it in your little side compartment in your, in your door and you can barely see it. That's how small it is. I mean, it'll stick above the little lip, but it's, it's real thin. It's, it's, it's about, about, man, well, about that thin and maybe about, about as, as wide as your hand. About, you know what I'm saying, about that, that tall and about that thin. So, dude, my my bolts was down to 12. You know, I had to have 14 bolts to, um, to jump it, crank amps. 
So he put it down right here on my little step ladder right there. And we talked for maybe a minute. And he looked down at it, he said, oh yeah, this is ready to crank. I'm thinking to myself like, man, this little bullshit ain't gonna crank my truck. I'm talking about, man, it's smaller, it's smaller than a, uh, than a, than a uh, laptop. So I'm like, this shit ain't gonna crank my truck. But hey, it said it's ready to crank. I got in there, roo, 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 crank that mug up. I was like, oh shit. I was happy there, but I tried to get Buddy Bunny like three times. He was like, nah, man, I'm good. You ain't gonna, you ain't gonna block my um, blessings or whatever. So I was like, hey, that's what's up. Um, but make sure you go by Napa and pick up one of these, these uh, boxes, man. Eighty four dollars. Eighty four dollars can save you. If I had to call like a uh, roadside, I'd pay about two fifty. Two fifty, and I can have that. And I, when I'm home, if I have to jump out of a personal vehicle or whatever, I can, I can use that. So. You know I'm going to buy one of those eighty-four dollars, man. That's 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 a must-have. And I think you plug it in at the house, and it just stays charged until you need it. Uh, the other thing, your opportunity over here at being a truck driver, man. Look, I know it's a lot of things I can do with my life, but trucking allows me to be creative and think about other projects while I'm out here making money. So I can take my time while I'm out here working and and come up with other ideas that that I can do because I'm not as distracted when I'm driving trucks, you know, I'm just riding down the road, I got all the time in the road to think. But it's like, the kind of money stuff I'm making, I'm able to change what's going on, man. I'm able to change the landscape of my household. Like, I can just tell sometimes with the conversations that I have with some of my partners that went to school and to college, all that kind of stuff, some of the moves I'm able to make, they can't really make those kind of moves. So, if you're a truck driver, and you got a clean CDLs, and your, your driving record is good, and like you don't got nothing on your record that's holding you back. Take advantage of that, man. Take advantage of it. I mean, you should be doing six figures. Like if you ain't doing six figures, and, 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 and especially if you're not home every night. If you ain't doing six figures and you away from the house, something wrong. You're doing something wrong. Uh, if, you, if you're doing around 70 something and you're home all the time, okay, that's cool. Like you should be making around 70 to 100,000 out here driving trucks. If you if you a hard worker now if you want those kind of people that really don't like to work, you might not can't you can't you probably can't do this kind of stuff because y'all your work ethic ain't right. But if you a hustler, you should be making seventy something at the house. I'm just letting y'all know y'all work. And you should be making a hundred if you over the road. And that, and that well, if you over the road, you ain't doing that as a company driver. You got to be on the op, do these kind of numbers. Uh, ah, something else I was about to say. But, I mean, it's all in your work ethic, and it's all about what company you're with, too. So, all this kind of stuff goes into play. And if you're on an operator, you can't be pulling freight for less than a dollar, less than a dollar 40 a mile. I'm saying at least probably like about a dollar 60 a mile if you want to see uh, six figures and still have a truck note. If you don't have a truck note, you can see 100,000 a mile if you're pulling less than a dollar 60 a mile. But uh, that's my spiel for the day, man. Man, TPs, man, y'all be safe out there. Go on.